This video will tell you how to stabilize your lucid dreams or just your dreams in general, right? Uh, but they'll usually be lucid. Okay, so this is how you stabilize them, how you make them last longer, more vivid. You know, the, this is, this, the things I'm gonna teach you in this video is the things that help people who post on Reddit and Discord that they felt like they were in a lucid dream for several weeks or several months. This is the stuff that will get you to be able to do that, okay? So pay attention if you want longer, more stable lucid dreams. So, like with most lucid dreaming techniques and most of the things that I teach you, it actually starts before you go to bed. It starts in the daytime. And it starts with, again, practicing things and visualizing things before you actually go to sleep. So what you need to do because really when, it, when you want to stabilize a lucid dream, you want to relax more deeply. That's the key, right? You want to be relaxed. And so that goes contrary to what actually happens in lucid dreams. Because what happens in most lucid dreams is, and there's nothing wrong with this, you very quickly start doing very exciting, engaging, you know, pumping up your blood rate, your heart rate type of activities, you know. It's exciting, of course it is, right? It's like a video game. It's like uh, you're a superhero flying around or whatever adventure you're going on. So that's kind of the opposite to relaxing. So it, it kind of sounds like, count, you know, contradictory, but to make them last longer, you need to be relaxed. That's the key. So you need to find a way of being more relaxed while also still having fun in the lucid dream. And it's a difficult balance to find. A difficult kind of juggling act to balance those two things. And I can't really describe it that well without kind of being in a lucid dream and showing you what I mean. But I'll try, I'll do my best. So what you want to do is you want to, you want to find a way of engaging in the activities you're doing, like doing the adventure, going on the adventure in, a, in the dream, while also keeping yourself, your mind calm. And I think the biggest hack for this, the biggest tip I can give you, that will really make this easy for you is to meditate and specifically to meditate during the day in the morning and then to try and pr uh, practice kind of bringing that relaxation from the meditation uh, with you throughout your day there's really no way of doing this like a fast quick way you, you have to just practice it so start by meditating if you don't already <laughs> you, uh, start meditating in the morning uh, for about five to ten minutes and just after you finish meditating just ask yourself okay how did that feel how do i feel now and hopefully hopefully right you feel better you feel good relaxed calm and then what you do is and this is the practice this is the hard part you could say is during the day as you go about your day there will of course be like random things that happen to you it might be uh, something stressful happens at work or at school university in your relationship whatever happens, right? Something stressful happens. And your goal is to try and practice really being calm the entire way through the situation. And I know that's difficult, but that's the thing. That's what you need to practice because in a lucid dream, exactly the same thing happens. You'll have something exciting happen or it could be stressful, right? It could be good or bad, but something will happen that is engaging. That's the, that's, that's the right word, engaging. It's very, uh, you would usually react to it, either negatively or positively. Uh, your heart rate would increase in both cases, uh, and your logical thinking, your critical thinking, would be less effective because you're in the moment, right? You're reacting emotionally. And I know that's exciting and fun, but for your dreams to be stable, you don't want that. <laughs> you, you want the opposite of that, actually. You want to be like a monk uh, with uh, a very relaxed mindset very peaceful relaxed and serene mindset and so uh, what you can do is again practice the meditation in the morning bring that with you throughout your waking day and eventually after you know after a week or two of practicing that it will sh start it will start to help you in your dreams you, you'll start to notice oh i'm in a lucid dream and something exciting is happening but i'm not freaking out i'm not you know blowing it and just waking up instantly i'm actually staying here for longer and then what happens is it's kind of a meta a meta experience here but you will start to realize that during the lucid dream realize that you're more calm and relaxed and that will make you even more relaxed you'll have this grip on the dream where you kind of you can decide when to wake up and it's really hard to explain it without you doing it but 
that's how you that's how you get there and then uh once you know once you've done that this is really just a bonus tip um and that is there are certain supplements you can use i wouldn't recommend everyone do this but obviously do your own research things like vitamin b6 um there's a few others valerian uh in certain doses and things like this is for you know stabilizing your entire night's sleep and then yeah just things that would calm you down so like lavender uh, chamomile mugwort tea different there's different ones you can use um you know if you're completely new to this just take and take a dream or sleep tea you can get these ones where it's like really cheap nice blend um perfectly good enough for what you need and that will really just help you to fall asleep be more relaxed and stay asleep for longer and more deeply and that's really going to make a difference to you know how stable your dreams are be a bit careful with the other stuff uh, but it's there you know if you for those dream hackers among you who want to really you know go all the way and really just yeah be aware of that stuff you know um practice in the day and let me know how it goes okay